<laughs> Welcome back everyone in this live development video about uh, auto battlers. In this video we're going to make it so our AI starts attacking the units it came into contact with. So if we remember when we press I, units are fighting each other. Uh, they are a bit too fast and also they are not uh, rotating towards uh, their movement and that's because this, this is a pawn. We're going to make sure they rotate towards their movements uh, in tick I think we're going to do that and we're going to check whether or not the unit is moving so if we have some kind of velocity uh, we're going to to rotate towards our velocity I suppose Uh, we're going to set actor rotation mm, towards get rotation vector uh, where we want to look at we want to look at that from here uh, we're actually going to multiply that by 100 and we want to be looking at this plus our location want to be looking there and we're going to is to interp towards towards there get world delta time we're going to promote that to a variable which is going to be rotation speed I don't remember what kind of uh, what kind of value to put there if it's uh, 200 or 20 I have the feeling that it's working they are rotating towards oh that's it's pretty neat That's pretty neat. Okay, it's working. Uh, wh where does the print comes from already? Oh yeah, I remember. Find closest target. Yep, 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 yep. We don't want that anymore. Okay. So they are rotating towards their targets, and I think we also want to create some kind of logic which tr which triggers the auto the auto attack. And I think the server is going to trigger this. I think it's going to be multicasted like that is going to be reliable and we want everyone to see that we're going to play an animation montage like that we're going to create a random montage um, using the footman attack one let's say we're going to use that one um, footman attack right now what wha what happens if we play two players the other players see both units going oh yeah yeah we didn't we made a lot of a lot of stuff uh, not not multiplayer friendly so if we are a local controller we're going to create a bunch of add like that so if we press I both bus units are fighting each other and we see the other player moving their 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 units w we'll take care of that in due time to make it work properly but we see the units moving to each other if we see them fighting it's going to be fine so we want to be selecting what behavior we have if we are in range 
or not in range so we're going to find our closest, closest target and we're going to move to and we're going to add a decorator which is we want some kind of distance and I'm not sure compare BB entries no that's not it we only want to be doing this if we are not in range uh, but we, we do want we want to do that all the time so this is actually going to be a sequence we first want to do that then we want to go into a selector and if we are in range if we are in range we're going to move we're not going to move to and if we are not in range we're going to fight if we are in range I mean we're going to fight so we want to move to our target and then we want to check whether or not mm, is that location can we acceptable radius blackboard key target that sounds like it could do the trick yeah uh, like this and we want to inverse that condition I think if we are not in range of 50 50 pass finding base test use nav, nav agent yeah 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 we want to move to and we want to create a new task duplicates BDD attack so when I receive that play animation um, attack multicast trigger attack and we only want to do that if we are the server but only the server should be triggering the AI logic anyway so I don't think it's going to be a problem uh, if we we're just going to make sure we gate that behind an authority so only the server launches a behavior tree so if I press I they attack each other but we do not have an error I'm just going to close this card yeah like that so uh, we are not calling that we want to attack they're not attacking oh yeah maybe we are triggering the thing over and over so we want to wait like two seconds I want to be on the server yep they are attacking uh, we are going to stay single player for now so I think th so there there is something wrong but I don't know why if I press I too early no I don't know what triggers the error we'll see we'll see we'll find out so the unit is attacking and we actually want the unit to be we want the unit to be triggering something corresponding to to what it is so we'll likely be building that logic real quick in the unit role I suppose so we want an anim montage attack montage we're going to save close everything but the units and the unit will likely be saying uh, it's going to find unit data row it's going to find its data row and 
so we had find square and we had set up cosmetics so we found that so we're going to promote that to attack montage like that uh, we can delete that actually and we can just store our unit data row in there and we can grab that in our event graph break it and find our attack montage and hide it and we can create a montage for oh we have no animation there yeah 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 of course and we can create our montage for the archer uh, this one I think AM archer uh, attack and if we open up our data table we can grab our footman attack and our orchard attack and I think they are both going to be attacking actually none of them is going to so if we open up our BT units oh we have our BT target we can delete that So when we attack, we trigger this. Looks like it's failing to fill properly, maybe. I'm having a hard time understanding why it worked and it stopped working. I it's likely that thing is empty. When we set up our stuff, we have an archer and we have default unit we are storing this and then oh, we're going to see if that's okay th it's working now not sure why it failed to work okay perfect starting to starting to look like an auto battler so I think it's going to be enough for that video. In the next one, we're going to make it so they have some kind of else and they remove each other some kind of else. So we'll, we'll need else bar and stuff like that. So hope you like that video and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.